Hello, this is Edward Troxell, and today we're going to take a look at markers. Using scripts to go through the marker list or create new markers is a very easy task. So let's see how we can do that with the markers. In Vegas, we actually have four different types of markers. A standard marker you access by pressing M. Uh, we can create a region by pressing R. We have what is called a CD marker you can create by pressing N. And then you have a command marker you access by pressing C. And then you can access other information about that and determine whether or not it's a closed caption or just a title or a URL. And how those work depend on how you render. In this case, we'll just click on OK. And these are the four different types of markers you can have in Vegas. We're going to concentrate on the first two, just a marker and a region. For our first task, let's just add some events to the timeline. And what we want to do in this case is add one marker to each event. Naturally, we could manually go in and press M. And then come down here and press M, and come down here and press M, and so forth. But it would be much easier if the script could just do them all for us automatically. So let's write a script that will do that. Let's start with our base script that we've been working with all this time, with no form. And I'm going to assume that we only have one track. So let's create a track, my track and set that equal to the first track in the project. That would be my Vegas project dot tracks and then we want track zero because remember all of track number one is number zero, track number two is number one. All we use a zero base system instead of a one base system. Now let's go through each event on that track. So for each track event, we'll call that event and my track dot events. Then what are we going to do for each one? We're going to add a new marker. So let's create a marker, marker, my marker equals new marker and we have to tell it where we want it to start so we look at the event dot start and that is where we want to place that marker and then we need to add that marker to the project so my vegas dot project dot markers dot add and we have my marker and that should do it. So let's build this and give it a try. Okay, so now in Vegas, we go to Tools, Scripting, Run Script, and we're in our test script, bin release, so we'll just run that. Actually, let's go back out to just test script, and let's run class one. And there they all are on each of the markers. By executing from class one, we don't actually have to exit Vegas in order to change the script and run it again. If we run the DLL, then we definitely have to exit Vegas before recompiling the next DLL because otherwise it will keep it locked. All right, so let's undo this script run and make a next modification to this script. Now, instead of creating markers, let's create regions around each one of those images. And then let's take it a step farther and name the marker for the name of the image. We're still going to look at track one. We're still gonna go through all the events on the track. But instead of creating a marker, now we're gonna create a region. So we need to change that to region. We'll change this to my region. And we're going to create a new region. When we create a new region, it actually wants us to have two things. You'll notice that it wants a position and a length. There are actually multiple overloads that can be used. You could do position, length, and label. 
or you could just create a new region with no information. We want to create it with position and length. We already know the position, which is event start. Now let's give it a length. And we will use event dot length. We need to add that new region. So we'll change this to regions. And then we will change this to my region. So it's exactly the same we said we had before, except now we're referencing region instead of marker. And now I said we wanted to name it for the name of the event that it's surrounding. So let's add my region dot label. That will be the name that shows up on the timeline. Equals and let's just use event dot active take dot name. Now let's build this again, make sure we get a clean build. The build succeeded. So let's go back into Vegas. Once again, we'll just run the class. So we'll pick that, open it up, and now we have a region around every clip on the timeline. And if we zoom in, you will see that the name of the region matches the name of the event. In Vegas, you can also add markers and regions to events in the trimmer. So if you add a clip, open up a clip in the trimmer, here I've come in and I've added a marker called marker name. At this point in the clip, then I've come over here and I've added a region here. You can make it however big or small you want. Notice it's name clip region. Uh, then I've got another marker here. It does not have a name. Then I've got another region here called second region. And then I added a fifth marker here. Then I added this clip to the timeline, and you can see marker name, clip region, second region, and so forth are all listed down here, shown on the timeline. One key when adding the markers in the trimmer is that you have to come in and choose to save the marker regions. So you can either press S or you can go down here and choose the Save Markers Regions option, so like that. Or you can actually open, edit the visible button set. Come down here, check Save Marker Regions. Then you'll have a button right here, and you can just push this button right here to save the markers and regions. Once the markers and regions have been saved, now we can access the media markers on the clip and what I want to do is take each one of these and add them out here. So we would go here and it would be like pressing M here. And then we would have a region here that would match that one. And it would be like pressing R there. And we want to make a marker for every marker, make a region for every region, and then pull up the label that goes along with it. So let's ex exit out of here and go back to our script. To access the markers, once again, I'm gonna stick with my track one. Then I'm gonna go through each of the events in that track, just like we did before. And then this part is what we're gonna change. Now, to access the media markers, we have to look at the actual media. So I'm gonna create a variable of type media. I'm gonna call it my media and set that equal to the active take media. Event dot active take dot media. Then we're gonna have to do two sets of loops. One of them is going to look at the markers. One of them is gonna look at the regions. So let's create the marker loop first. So we're gonna do a for each. And this is gonna be a media marker. I'll just call that M marker and my media dot markers. Then I'm going to create a new marker on the timeline. So this will be a type marker. My marker equals new marker. And we need to look at the start of the event. 
and then we're going to add the position of the media marker in that event. So assuming that the event does not start at the beginning of the timeline, we need to look at the start of the event, then we need to shift over how far over the media marker is in that event. Next, we're going to add that marker to the, to the Vegas project. We have my Vegas project markers that add, and it's going to be my marker. Now I said we were going to transfer any labels, and so we need to set my marker dot label equals m marker dot label. So the marker on the timeline label now equals the media marker label. And it's going to do that for all of the markers. Now, let's do the same thing for regions. So we'll do for each media region. And let's just call that M region. And my media dot regions. All right, next we'll create a new region. Region, my region, equals new region. And once again, we're going to start it at the event start. And we're going to add the M region dot position. That's where it's going to start. Once again, we, it's not at the beginning of the timeline, so we have to look at where the event is starting and then go over to the position within that event. Now, regions require length, so let's put our comma. And how long is this one going to be? Well, it's going to be M region dot length. It's going to match the length of the one that's in the event. Alright, now we need to add that region to the project. So my Vegas dot project dot regions dot add and we're gonna add my region, the new region we just created. And once again we want to copy over the label. So my region, the new one we just created, dot label equals the media region dot label. Now let's go ahead and build this again, make sure it's going to compile successfully. It did compile successfully, so let's give it a run. So if we run that there, now you notice we have a marker at this point, name marker name, which matches the marker name here. We have a region here, which matches the region in the clip called clip region. We have another marker here with no name. We have a second region here that surrounds that marker just like it did up here. And then we have another marker here inside of that region. Now you notice they have different numbers because they were added in a different order. In this case they were added 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in that order. When using the script, remember we did all the markers first, and then we did the region second. So now they're at numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in that order. So all the markers first, and then all the regions second. So as you can see, adding markers to the timeline using a script is a very easy process. Please sign up at www.jettv.com and subscribe on YouTube to get further notifications on when new videos are presented.